Why can't I sleep properly? I do not get sleep in the night. What should I do? I feel like dying. I don't feel rejuvenated when I get up. So these are the questions which people ask me sometimes. And they tell me that, can you explain using astrology why this happens and uh, in which kind of placements and what, what kind of yogas can contribute to this? All right. So Today we shall discuss some facets of insomnia and what are the placements which can lead to this and some practical cures and some stuff from medical science also. Now, disclaimer, I am not a doctor and I do not have any official certification or degree in medical science. So uh, whatever I say here before you implement, please check with your doctor. Of course, I'm not going to suggest some very high level stuff here, but some simple changes. But even if uh, you are doubtful or skeptical about my words, then please check with your family doctor or with your astrologer before implementing them. All right. And if anything goes wrong, then I will not be responsible for this disclaimer. All right. So what is insomnia? Insomnia, basically, uh, there are many uh, facets to this, many levels of insomnia. The one of the meanings is uh, that you try to sleep in the night, it's like everything's out, uh, it's pitch dark, and you go to sleep, you don't get sleep, you can't sleep, you're just sitting, as in Hindi, Hindi they say, na, karwat badal rahe. <laughs> you're just uh, flapping both the sides, but you do not get sleep actually. Or one step before, there is another problem that uh, you don't want to sleep. Have you seen people uh, staying awake till 12 or 1, 1 1.30, 2.30? Yes, that, that means uh, that is a very severe level of insomnia. So you, you don't get a feeling that uh, you should shut down, shut down, uh, shut up your brain or your mouth sometimes. <laughs> Why? Because uh, there's, there's, there's some problem in uh, your lifestyle actually. We'll, we shall discuss that later. And another, uh, another beginning of insomnia, this is not a very bad, bad situation, but this is the beginning of insomnia, is that you go to sleep, you get sleep, but uh, when you get up in the morning, you feel very dry, very lethargic, you feel very weak, and you feel as if I, sh I should have slept that last half an hour more, or one hour, or five minutes, or ten minutes. So this means uh, your body is not going into the deeper levels of sleep actually. So you are you're just superficially resting actually, but you are not exactly sleeping. Now there are different levels of sleep, you know, which uh, I should not explain here. It becomes very complicated. But uh, you have to understand uh, what is happening astrologically. The moksha houses are getting affected. Okay. So what are the moksha houses? They are the fourth house, the eighth house and the twelfth house. So the 12th house is the house of sleep and the four, the fourth house is the house of rejuvenation okay that moment when you get up in the morning that is the fourth house actually and then we have the eighth house eighth house is the house of cleansing it's also the house of dirt it's it's garbage basically so you you either stay in garbage or you get the garbage out of your body so uh, your bowel movements, uh, taking bath, all these things are seen from the uh, eighth house actually. Actually, uh, taking bath is actually the ninth house because once you are uh, once you are clean, then you uh, go to the second house from the eighth house, which is the ninth house. All right. So, so anything here, any any problem in these trines can uh, any of these houses of this trine can. Uh, create problems in the other two houses also so therefore uh, we we can check certain things for example now uh, astrologically there are many 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 factors which can contribute to this i will mention some of them but the thing is uh, you don't have to open your horoscope for this you can very easily do it uh, just ask one question to yourself do you sleep uh, the first question you should ask is do you feel like sleeping in the night? You may be thinking, oh, what the hell? Everybody wants to sleep, right? But no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, ideally, they say after 9, 9.30 or at least 10, worst case 10.30, you should get a feeling as if you are extremely tired and you want to sleep. Okay, T 
that doesn't mean you have you know climbed the mount everest that's why you were tired even if you are sitting in home day whole day you are just doing some not some heavy work even then you should feel tired and you should feel like sleeping actually so this is the first question you should ask so do you feel like sleeping after 9 9:30 or at least 10 second question you should ask is when you are sleeping when you go to sleep do you get sleep how fast do you get sleep if you do not get sleep very quickly ideally uh, like uh, once i had gone to ashram they used to say there was one uh, brahmachari who said uh, used to say this in hindi aap teen tak ginie ek do teen count till 3 and i'll fall asleep he used to say so that's too much we may not fall asleep in 3 seconds but do you feel that it is a big struggle for you to get sleep actually do you feel like that do you feel that the act of sleeping which is actually an act of uh, rejuvenation and you know relaxation has become like a horror for you it's like a horror you know oh my god i don't get sleep you know what will happen i'm I, i'm just lying down from 4 hours 6 hours but i don't get sleep so does it sound like somebody and then the next level is you have to ask yourself okay you feel like sleeping then you go to sleep you get sleep relatively easily but do you feel rejuvenated in the morning do you feel nice do you feel as if you are ready to uh, accomplish your tasks or do your spiritual practices and another thing you can ask is even if these three things are positive do you feel lethargic during the day or do you feel lethargic after having a heavy meal yes this is a question which you have asked so if these things are sounding very negative to you or if you feel out of these four two or three is happening with you negatively then there there is some serious problem all right so uh, now astrologically what what are the things which you can check so one of, one of the most uh, frequent uh, disruptions to sleep is uh, malefics in the 12th house or an afflicted 12th lord i have seen okay now again as i said astrologically it's very difficult to find all this because it's very subtle these are some hints i am giving you but i know some people will start writing oh i have jupiter in 12th i still can't sleep so relax if you have these symptoms then there is some problem some yoga somewhere okay so you can check how much of this you have but as i said practically you check what symptoms you have okay and if you have these symptoms then please write it down in the comments what which planets do you have in the fourth eighth or twelfth okay so now now uh, it could happen that you have problems uh, in the fourth house okay so who is the uh, so another issue could be an afflicted fourth house malefics in the fourth or afflicted uh, fourth lord or the fourth lord could be in a bad shape i have seen because fourth house is the first sign remember if fourth house is not good the eighth and the twelfth won't be good actually so so you have to understand that insomnia is not a problem in itself insomnia is a symptom of a terrible lifestyle should i repeat insomnia is a symptom of a terrible lifestyle so if you have insomnia you cannot cure it with eating pills or you know doing all sorts of stupid things if you do all these things you will end up in trouble because what will happen is uh, there are certain hormones which i won't explain here uh, which the body secretes when uh, the body is planning to go to sleep so these tablets they will secrete these hormones or uh, artificially and then what happens your body loses the ability to uh, produce these hormones okay and then you cannot get sleep if you don't take those tablets so the first thing you should do is if you are suffering from insomnia please 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 stop taking all tablets these these won't work in the long run imagine taking a handful of tablets before you sleep how miserable life is right so therefore um, you have to uh, check the fourth house actually it's the beginning of all trouble okay or all goodness because fourth house is known as uh, the shuddhi shuddhi karan okay so fourth house is the house, also the house of purity actually so uh, if if you are if you have a good lifestyle which means you are eating the nice uh, if you are eating nice food uh, what what do you mean by nice food you know there is something uh, called as uh, green vegetables this color which i am wearing something called as green vegetables so if you are not eating green vegetables sufficiently then uh, you won't get sleep in the night try the try out this 
for 15 days. Uh, it's a bit risky, but you could still try, maybe. <laughs> for 15 days, do not eat any green vegetable. Just eat carbohydrates and proteins and all, all other stuff. You see what happens to your sleep. And for 15 days, the other thing you can try, if you are having this problem, you can, uh, the one, one meal of your day, uh, suppose the breakfast, you, you do not eat carbohydrates or you do not eat proteins, just eat vegetables. You, you just see the difference. Uh, green vegetables you take. Uh, I don't mean potato here. Potato uh, doesn't come under this, all right? No French fries and all this. So if you take this, then you will see rapid, rapid, rapid difference in your lifestyle. Within 15 days, you will start getting good sleep. All right. If you just take green vegetables in the morning, or or you can take heavy salads, all right, uh, either cooked or salads raw, or you can also take steamed or boiled or um, yeah, whichever way you are comfortable. All right. So you will see there is rapid transformation in your life. Okay. So this is one thing which you should do because that helps your body very much. Now, why that happens, what, what is there in vegetables and why that happens, I want to explain here. But another thing I have seen is, uh, which is pretty obvious, uh, the Karaka of the fourth house uh, in a bad shape, which is moon and Venus. Mm -hmm. Venus is also very equally important and moon also. See why? Because moon gets debilitated in Scorpio, which is the original uh, eighth sign. And 8th house is also the Maran Karakstan for the moon. And Venus gets uh, exalted in uh, the 12th sign, which is Pisces, all right? So you see, moon and Venus are very intricately related to these trines, and to this trine, actually. You know, they have very prominent placements, and they themselves are Karakas for the 4th house, okay? So therefore, uh, another very important thing is that um, your... Uh, you, you, should, you should take care of activities related to the 8th house, so which means the first thing you should get a, do in the morning is after you get up, you should go and take a bath. All right. Even if you are if you are not feeling like clearing your stomach, you should go and take a bath in cold water unless you have some serious health problems. Okay, So you can check with your doctor. But do not take bath in hot water. That That's disastrous actually in the morning. Hot water bath should be taken in the evening uh, before you sleep okay if, if at all you want to but if you take bath in hot water in the morning it further makes you lazy and puts you to sleep all right so please do not take uh, hot water bath in the morning and uh, some people they will keep delaying their ceremony of you know uh, bath you know, ceremonial ritual you know. <laughs> So they, uh, if they get up at 7, they will delay till 8, then 9, then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> so I'm giving you a blunt challenge here. The first thing you do in the morning, don't check your mobile, don't check anything. You know, have, a, have a music recorder without Wi-Fi connection, for God's sake. Okay? And then you can, you, you can put some Vishnu Sastanam or Brahma Samhita or you know, some Ram Raksha Sutra or something like this. And you can play it uh, in the background when you are taking bath. So just do that and come and sit and do some mantras. Uh, and then you start your day and the first meal you only take vegetables. Um, then, then you see how your sleep improves actually. Okay. So another thing I have seen is if uh, your uh, Lagna Lord is badly placed. Why? Why do I say Lagna Lord? Because if the Lagna Lord is badly placed, then you have trouble in... Uh, practically every area of life <laughs> so this means uh, you will have all you all you will also have trouble in sleeping actually okay another thing i have seen is a bad second house okay so bad second house can also give these things because if your second house is bad you will eat crap okay and especially if saturn and rahu they are placed and if the horoscope is supporting depression you can also uh, you might also be addicted to uh, alcohol actually so you know, always remember your uh, health, which is the sixth house. Okay, it's actually disease. Uh, so your diseases are directly related to second house. So whatever you eat, you will cause, will either heal your disease or uh, aggravate the disease. All right. So and therefore, it's very crucial that you eat well. And then now, most important is the eighth house. Okay, eighth house is all the garbage of the world. All right. So therefore try to stay away from garbage if you wish to uh, have a good 12th house because 
12th house is the fifth from the eighth house what is the fifth house fifth house is like uh, the future okay so it's like saying the more garbage you have the more difficult it is to activate the 12th house properly and you know what 12th house is 12th house is also the house of exit and death actually so it is said that if a person doesn't get sleep that person feels as if he's dying why because 12th house if activated then either you will feel as if you are dying or you are sleeping okay either of the two has to happen good signs of the 12th house is sleep bad signs is you do not get sleep and then you feel like dying right so watching debate shows uh, uh watching adult material in the night and uh, discussing about private parts of the opposite sex these are the things if you do or you know um, watching all these you know reality shows fake shows you know award shows you know news uh, where they are like fighting 10 people are talking to each other all the time so if these are the things you are doing during the day or you are gossiping eighth house is gossip why because eighth house is insult gossip means insult basically okay what is gossip basically once my shiksha guru was telling that what is the different definition of gossip gossip is that which you do uh, when you hear something that you like about somebody who you don't like so that it gossip is that which you do uh, when you hear something about somebody who you don't like but something which you like so you you like to hear some spicy things all right and imagine uh, a person who you hate who you are jealous you are envious you cannot stand that person that person has done something so it's like you know you get some spice out of your uh, filthy disgusting boring lifestyle and then you try to uh, have you seen vultures as you know like they will fly very high but their eyes are on the dead actually so gossiping is like behaving like a vulture you know it's like you're flying very high but uh, your eyes are on the dead material so finding falls oh is the ye kar diya us the wo kar diya are are pata hai aisa ho gaya i do know you know this happened that happened so it's like you are uh, have you seen crows you know they're like uh, you will never see swans of, of a garbage, but crows are always hovering around garbage. So, uh, so behave like a swan, not like a crow. That is why a great personality is known as Hans, Paramhams. So, because a swan can separate the milk and the water and take only the milk, all right? So, therefore, uh, stay away from people who gossip. Stay away from people who... Uh, uh, who give you stress unnecessarily okay because Kali Yuga is filled with uh, crappy people I mean that's a fact of life uh, you have to accept it those people may be there in your family they may be there in your friend circle or wherever no, nothing against them but the thing is if somebody is damaging your internal peace you have to stay away from them it's very clear right so therefore you need to select your association very carefully and the most important thing is in the morning you should do some spiritual practices okay so read the bhagavad gita 30 minutes every day uh, let, let's read some random shloka what krishna is telling to arjuna today mm -hmm. krishna is telling in sixth chapter fifth verse one must deliver himself with the help of his mind and not degrade himself the mind is the friend of the conditioned soul and his enemy as well. My God. See what Krishna is telling. The mind is the friend of the conditioned soul and his enemy as well. So if you, uh, if you do things which is not in line with your overall uh, harmony, then the mind is your enemy. And if you do things which are in line with your, ha with your harmonical, harmonial lifestyle, then the mind is your great friend. Right? So therefore uh, understand that insomnia cannot be treated in itself you cannot cure insomnia by taking some superficial tablets or even ayurvedic remedies even doing astrological remedies none of these will work you have to understand as uh, insomnia is the symptom of a disastrous idiotic stupid pathetic horrible lifestyle all right so if your lifestyle is terrible you will never get sleep in this life, all right? And then you can go on doing thousands and thousands of remedies, but none of them will work. Your situation will only worsen, okay? So therefore, if you uh, improve your lifestyle, you will see 
that your insomnia is cured and if you stay away from people and things which give you stress you will see that gradually over a period of two months three months your insomnia has almost disappeared actually it has been nullified by your good lifestyle all right that will be all from my side if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me then please uh, go to the website down in the description section and uh, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him.